it's the music in the background. That's fine. <laughs> Deborah Sheridan, originally from Canada. Mm. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity to meet you and have a few words with you. I'm a photographer. I'm based in Franklin, and I'm also a seven-year throat cancer survivor. And my two passions are photography and raising awareness about head and neck cancer. Head and neck cancer is not very well known. It's only about three to five percent of the cancers that are diagnosed each year. But unfortunately, head and neck cancer does not receive three to five percent of the allocated research dollars to try and find better ways to manage head and neck cancer. Because of this, most people are diagnosed at stage four. And if you know anything about cancer, you know stage four is not good. And beginning treatment at stage four means the treatment is harsh and very rigorous. There are very good treatments to kill the cancer, but unfortunately the treatment also kills quality of life. So we all have issues with breathing, talking, and eating. Until somebody realizes we need to do something about this, nothing will change. So it has become my mission, if you will, to do it one at a time, let people know about head and neck cancer. Let people know that there are ways to encourage people, bright physicians, bright PhDs, to go into it. It's kind of a chicken and egg right now. There's no money, so no, none of the smart people are going into it. The people who do go into it, can't get the money, so they go somewhere else. I'm asking every one of you, when you think about helping people with cancer, please think about head and neck cancer. Together we can make a difference. Together we can be the voice for 